Thrifty Tiffany and I am back. I am just getting home from my first ever Pilates class and I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Also, I went to Kroger, so I wanna show you some items that I just picked up for the weekend because it is Friday. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday. But I wanted to tell you guys about Pilates because I went to a free intro class and I absolutely loved it. So I liked, I like to look for different forms of like working out than just going to a regular gym. Um, and Pilates seems to be the right fit. I went ahead and signed up. So I'm going to be going twice a week. I'm just excited for this new journey. So on my vision board this year, I wanted health and fitness and just my eating habits. I wanted it all to continue like it was and then just improve. I want to tone up. So I lost about 30 pounds and now I want to tone up. I want to tone up my arms, which I call my mom arms. So I want to tone up my arms, my thighs, my bum, uh, my abs. I want to just like tone up. I want to be more flexible. I want to just strengthen myself. So this seems to be a really good fit. Well, again, I just went to the free intro, but I'm really excited. I'll definitely let you guys know, like when I definitely get into it and have a couple more sessions, I am so excited and it's actually pretty affordable, uh, especially if you just go twice a week. So I'm really excited about it, but I just wanted to encourage you guys to try something different. The regular gym is not for everyone. Just look for other places that give opportunities for you to try it first and see if you like it and you may really love it. My kids are growing up, so I'm just, and leaving the house and Cash is in college and Cayman's a senior, so I just need to, I mean, my focus is always gonna be my kids, but I do need to focus on my mental health, my well being, and just make sure I'm in the tip top shape to be able to handle all these changes, if you know what I'm saying. If you're a mama, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so let me jump into this Kroger stuff though. I'm just talking. I look I look rough. I you don't wear makeup to go work out, of course. So I just went to go work out. But I really, really loved it, y'all. Then I wanted to treat myself at Kroger. So I went into Kroger, and as you guys, I always tell you guys, if you have a Kroger grocery store, they have a clearance section in several parts of the store. They have them like in the bakery section, you'll get a bunch of breads that are on clearance, and then they have it near like where the canned foods and all of that, they'll have a clearance section on those. They also have a clearance section on the florals. Y'all always go over there. Sometimes they're empty. Sometimes they have huge bouquets for so cheap. These are red roses, y'all, and white roses. These were $3.99. $3.99, both of them. So I'm gonna do a big floral arrangement with the red and white. Right here before Valentine's Day, you're gonna see how the prices are gonna hike on all the roses. Girl, grab you some, make you have a good day, buy you some chocolate, some flowers, some sushi. Treat yourself, y'all. Treat yourself. $3.99, make yourself happy so you have beautiful flowers to look at. Look at. Don't wait on somebody to do it for you. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. That's going to be our motto for 2022. Do it for yourself. You want to get healthier? Go out there. Find something. Even if it's just going for a walk. If you want to eat healthier, just choose healthier options. So I had to pick up a couple items. Um, I want to make chicken salad. And then I also eventually want to make an egg salad later today. And so I picked up a rotisserie chicken. Now, usually I buy the Costco chicken tenders and then just cook those and make chicken salad with that. I thought I would just do this organic rotisserie. Um, actually, it's not organic. This is Home Chef rotisserie chicken. Only grabbed one, but they did have a sale, two for 10, which is a really good deal. But these are fresh, it's nice and warm. So I'm gonna make a big container of chicken salad with that. Also got some romaine lettuce. These, I usually make lettuce cups or lettuce wraps or just salads, things like that. I love the romaine lettuce, it's so good. And you can make boats. You can put some of the chicken salad in the boat. It's so good. So I also got, I'm gonna make two chicken salads because the kids like basic chicken salad and I like to spruce mine up. I like adding stuff. So I got these honey roasted almonds and it has cranberries as well, y'all. And this only has four carbs in it. So I'm gonna put cranberries and almonds in my chicken salad. I cannot wait, like I literally cannot wait. Usually I don't do that because the kids won't eat it if I do that. So I got two packs of these and these are usually in the, um like vegetable section over there near the bananas and salads. Like they have the nuts and um, nuts and like salad toppers. 
and things like croutons. So this is where I always find these. These are good just to snack on by themselves, so I love them. Also, I'm gonna be incorporating more carbs into my diet, but not too many. I wanna do like natural things that have carbs, like bananas, I always eat bananas. But not, no processed carbs, but more natural carbs. So I do want sweet potatoes, because when you start working out, I wanna build and tone. Now that I lost all the like unnecessary weight, the weight that I have on me, I wanna build it up, like get that bum sitting right, you know? <laughs> get it toned up, get my arms toned up, and um, but a nice tone, you know? So I got some sweet potatoes. I love getting these petite ones. They're petite sweet potatoes, and you can actually steam them in this bag. And that portion is perfect for if I have a meal and I just need a sweet potato. And if you guys haven't seen it on TikTok, it was a trend to, bake these in the air fryer which it's so good and then just eat them whole when they get cold and everything they're so good i love a good cold sweet potato after you uh air fry them really good i don't even have to add anything sometimes i add a little cinnamon to mine but that's it and it's really good so grab you some sweet potatoes also picked up some sweet chili garlic hummus y'all this sweet chili garlic hummus is so good this was out of the boar's head section I love sweet chili sauce. I love it on salmon. I love it on everything, and it's really good, and it's good in the lettuce cups as well. So this is a definite must, and with peppers. So I did get two red peppers. My receipt. I got two beautiful red peppers. I love red peppers out of all of them. I like red and yellow. Green is probably my least favorite, but red peppers are so good, and I can make red pepper sandwich or red pepper boats um, or just dip them in the hummus. That chicken salad that I'm going to be making, and this so good. Also, egg salad in this, like cut it in half, and it's really, really good. So, I plan on eating that. I love Gouda, y'all. I love smoked Gouda. It has a smoky flavor. It's really good at room temperature, as most cheese. But, so I got so much smoked Gouda. Love this stuff. Again, this is out of the boar head section. I grabbed a couple more of these shots, which I'm about to take right now. I'm about to take one of them. This is a different one than I usually have. Kroger never has the brand that I like, but this Vive, I've bought this before. It's Vive Organic Immunity Boost. It's got cayenne, ginger, and turmeric. And this is just a wellness shot. And y'all, I love the wellness shots. Now, I've had several people try these since I have been talking about them. And I know they're like, what in the world it tastes? I, it's very, it's healthy. So it's very strong. And um, yeah, you eventually learn to like the taste of it because it's just like, it feels healthy. It feels like you're doing something good to your body. Especially if you get these with the pepper in it. It's hot and spicy. But like, it's a it's a good hot and spicy, y'all. It's like, I'm getting healthy. So, I love it. And if you have something going on in your body, I'm sure it will nip it in the bud right away. But they are, they are spicy. It has cayenne. Oh, my God. That scared me. That was the cat. I know nobody's here and that was the cat. But we got cayenne, ginger, and turmeric. And y'all, no added sugar. Shake it up, 99% juice. So we're gonna get this one going, y'all. Cheers to a healthier year. Mm. Woo! I taste celery juice in this one. This one's not like the normal one I buy. I think I like this one too. It's, that's strong. Woo! You taste that cayenne. I got some asparagus also tonight, maybe not tonight, maybe Saturday night. I'm not sure. I think Kaya has plans Saturday night, so I might do this. I don't know, but I have some steaks in the freezer that I want to cook. I have four steaks in there, so I don't know if we're all going to do it. Maybe Sunday dinner. I don't know, but I wanted to have steak and some asparagus. I want to roast some asparagus, so I got a big container of this. I love asparagus sometimes. So I think I'm gonna have the sweet potato, a sweet potato, asparagus, and a steak one night for a weekend dinner. Y'all, who grew up, when I was growing up, I know I look rough, I'm sorry. When I was growing up, my mama and daddy, they used to have like a date night and us kids knew it. So they would feed us like hamburger helper, right y'all? Like hamburger helper or my mom's famous, like not famous y'all, but she always would make hamburger helper, but with like hot dogs and mac and cheese, like Kraft mac and cheese, right? With the powder cheese and everything would cut up hot dogs. And I loved it. I loved it, but we grew up off of that. And um, I actually fed it to my kids when they were young too, and they loved it. But so they would give us like hamburger helper or whatever. And then later that evening, they would like dress up or like, yeah, dress up, 
fix dinner and then I have a candlelight dinner in the kitchen. So I always grew up, those were the best times. And sometimes my mom, she would do it for the whole family. Like we'd have a candlelight dinner just because we would always see them doing it um, when they have a date night. So yeah, I just thought, did y'all remember that? That makes me think about it. Anytime I have steak or something like that, I want to have like a candlelight dinner. But yeah, but I still don't have a kitchen table. We had a kitchen table at our town home, but when we moved here, I was gonna, it was too, that one was way too big for this um, area. So I still haven't got a kitchen table. We do have a bar area with four stools for people to sit. We have TV trays for people to eat if they wanna eat in the living room. Um, this is just a chatty video. I hope y'all are fine with it, but I do not have a kitchen table. I am gonna look up, look, I have been looking for a circle one. I just want it to be one that I like. And it would be really nice to have one that I could fold up and fold down, but still looks nice you know, just for when we need that space right there. But anyway, still plan on getting that. But I got an essential water, just got a big one of these to have when I make, when I eat my lunch. But that is it, y'all. That is my little, that's my little haul after Pilates. I am so excited about this. So again, I want to encourage you guys to step out of the box. Don't think that you only have to go to the gym to get fit. There's so many different options these days. There's like, you could do the what's it the bike riding what, what is that just the riding the bike I want to do that too I just want to do like random different things than just going to a gym you know I want to do just different stuff to get fit and toned up but I really think Pilates is going to be it for me I really do I'm excited I'm so excited for it but I hope you guys enjoyed this little chat I hope it just gave you some insight on you know just try something and look for like the free intro class some places have like a three-day intro or yoga do yoga or pilates or you could even do um what do you call it um what's that what's that words where, where they lift weights um oh my goodness i just forgot that quick um crossfit that's what it was crossfit or bike or orange theory or things like that there's other things than just the regular gym because sometimes you feel intimidated going into a regular gym and it's just too much. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. And you don't want to pay for a um, personal trainer. So, yes. But I'm excited. So, that's it for today, y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned. I already have items piling up for my Dollar Tree haul. A lot of food items coming up. So, stay tuned for that video. And I'm probably about to leave in a little bit once I take a shower. Whatever. I'm going to go out to um, another Dollar Tree before the kids get home from school. And so that's it, y'all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And y'all have a wonderful day. And y'all stay healthy. Mask up and take your vitamins. I'll grab you some of these little shots. It doesn't have to be this brand. Just find you a brand that you'll like. But this one is strong. But I love you guys. Bye, y'all.